my question is, why this book now? I mean, why, why is the topic of freedom such a central or crucial thing for Christians in our world today? Because many Christians around the world have survived, if not even thrived under conditions that were anything but free. And are we trying to advocate from a position of power? I mean, what was the impetus behind this in, in your thought process? Take St. Augustine's idea that you understand a nation, put it in modern terms, not by the size of its army or its GDP or the strength of its uh, population or whatever. You, you understand it by what it loves supremely. Mm -hmm. Now, is there any question that what America loves supremely is freedom? Right. You know, as to understand America, you understand freedom. And so this is my third book, looking at the challenges of freedom, free people's suicide, uh, and, and so on. This is my third one. But what I discovered is that people don't understand the core of the issue today, and they really don't understand how the best of America, I understand the worst, slavery, etc. The best of America, through the Reformation, comes from the Torah first five books of the Bible. In other words, Exodus, Deuteronomy 2 is a, re a repeat of Exodus. Exodus, I, what I call the Sinai revolution, is quite literally the once and future key to freedom in America. It, it's the once key, as it were. You don't understand the American revolution. Where did the consent of the government come from? Where did checks and balances, separation of powers come from? Where did the constitution come from? the covenant, and so on. Americans have no idea of the richness of the Old Testament background. Now, those things are incredibly relevant to the crisis today. So this book is more constructive. Um, it's negative in the sense that it compares the Sinai Revolution with the French Revolution. Mm -hmm. And a lot of Christians have no understanding. You take, say, I was on, I've had a whole series of Zooms with pastors this year. Many of them have drunk the Kool-Aid. In other words, we see in something like the George Floyd murder, a horrendous evil and injustice. But while both the radical left and Christians see injustice and agree things are unjust, the difference with how you tackle them is night and day. Mm. And many pastors and young evangelicals have made a huge mistake of not understanding. So part of the book describes where cultural Marxism came from. Gramsci, the Frankfurt School, the long march through the institutions and so on, right down to today. And the other half of the book is on the, the way the biblical understanding of freedom, God's way, is so much richer and deeper in addressing our present crisis. Mm 